Those are the best tools. Somebody else is in the kitchen. You don't have to. We can go anytime we want. I love your book. My new pontoon came with this. Wrong story. Anyway, so kind of out of sight, out of mind. Yeah, yeah. You can't really see him. It's like right on the side. What time of the morning was that? I it noticed the right way. I took pictures and sent to him. I kind of forgot about it. I just was like, this weekend we're in and I'll go. There's one of the other than the whole shirt. That's all he said. So I texted him today. I go, hey, we want to settle up on those things. My brand new car. My brand new pontoon. Oh, gosh, yeah. And I forgot. And I said, Tom, why don't you give me a big birth? And then all of a sudden it was kind of like he turned around. Yeah, the big toll just kept playing, like the big yeah, the big maple, that's what it was, big maple. And he goes, well, we don't have much time, but I can work a little bit. Yeah, let's work something up. How much are they? So he texts me later, he goes, uh, we sell them for three ninety nine. dollars 99 on this 200 bucks sold. And I said, oh, that's free. Well, we went back and forth, but I'm, I'm going to give him some money, but it's okay. Well, we have one of those. Does it work? Then I read some reviews on it after. Bombs. It doesn't hold. They're very long, like only a couple seasons. Has yours been good for you? Mm, well, I guess we are on our second. Um, but it's still good. There was this huge dude that should not have been doing that was on it. <laughs> so he popped it, but I mean. Okay, you kind of expected it because yeah. You can't have like six, seven hundred bones on that. <laughs> I mean, it's rough, but okay. no, I'm not like my kids. Oh, here we go. Call this baby order. Please rise from the pledge. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Also, reading here in partnership with the communities, the mission of the Delaware Clinton Public School District is to educate individuals in an environment of trust and respect so they become self directed, responsible, lifelong learners. All right, so we have our board chair and our VP out, so I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Just for a brief interview. Um, we have uh, board members Laura Item, Amy Johnson, myself, and Brittany Keel here, as well as Superintendent Hunstead, um, Community Ed Director Tracy Tollefson, and the Master of All Things, Brooke Falka. I get to say that one more time. <laughs> okay, any changes to the agenda, Shannon? Uh, nope, the only thing is under my report, I'm going to say uh, item B, fund, fund budgets, uh, fund balance, I'm sorry, fund budgets uh, two and four till next meeting, because I'd like to have the whole board here. David and I talked about that today, he thought that was a good idea, so okay. I'll Perfect. table that, otherwise everything is the same. Sounds good. Do I have a motion to approve, please? So moved. Uh, I got Brittany, how about Amy second? Sure. Any questions or discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Public comments, rebel recognition. No comments, any rebel recognition? No, 4th of July, of course, there's no contact week, so mm -hmm. kind of quiet on that front, I guess, but okay. yeah. I know that the staff's probably working hard to uh, get the school clean, so thank you to them for doing that this summer. Working on that. All right, board committee reports, uh, 6.1, personnel. Uh, we met after the last board meeting and I think we just kind of did an overview of basically kind of um, what staff are gonna be filling in. There was really not much to discuss as far as we're pretty, you know, right now we're still waiting to see how many kindergartners we're gonna have. Still at the infamous, are we still around 80? 82, we got a couple more? Look at that, life's looking up. Can we get another one today? Oh, okay. I didn't know that when I signed up on 81 last week, so that was okay. just flying in. Um, yeah, I guess we talked about, as if you remember last board meeting, we approved a lot of new staff, and that's kind of what we went over. So we are fully staffed with the exception of the speech. Um, I have a meeting Wednesday with uh, Scott, and he, right now we have, um, we're working on at least we have a contract, or can get into a contract with this company. West Fargo. It'll be in person, so it won't be online. And he found it at a better rate. So if we can't find anybody, at least we know we can get that service. It'll be a little more expensive than hiring somebody, but not as bad as what we originally had seen. So, but yeah, that's kind of what we talked about. Is mostly all those new people. Is that um, because they 
co-op doesn't have someone either? They don't have an extra, no, so they were trying to help us find one too, yeah. So then, does that become our responsibility or theirs if we're sharing service? Um, a little bit of both, because they're trying to help find one. So it, would it's, this it would be our employer, employee, oh. if we if, because it was our employee that, that we had to replace or fill. Um, and so he said he's willing to maybe hire somebody too. We were, we'll talk about it, but we just need an applicant. So that's kind of the battle right now is just to find somebody. Um, ideally, it's our employee then, because it's like a special ed teacher would be ours. But um, he's, he's willing to work with us on that too. So. I guess I'm a little confused on if we're, like if they're giving us some services and that speech is one of them? Um, well, we have our own speech teachers, just like we have our own special ed teachers. They don't hire the special ed teachers and then we get them from them. Right. We so have we our own. So we do that with speech? Uh, he might. That's what he's saying. They do some speech for some of the other districts. Right. We need a full-time person. So if it's oh, a full-time okay. person, he said, well, you might as well just hire them. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Let's say we hired them a person to be speech and we needed them at point eight for whatever reason there's less speech kids um then he would buy time from us or if it's only like point like we have a full-time person and we maybe need an extra point two that if they had someone yep. we could get them for sure okay. yep it just allows us that flexibility i guess since it's a full-time position and then it was ours to start with sure. he thought well you might as well hire him right yeah, which makes sense. sense yeah so that's kind of how that was going i guess Thank you. Yeah, no, that's okay. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what we talked about. The one other thing you guys will see tonight um, is that Shane, uh, that is been a trainer for us, he's going to teach a sign language class. So we got awesome. work through Pell's awesome. yeah, it's, it's fantastic. So you'll see that's another hire. But again, we are full right now. We have, we're fully staffed with the exception of that speech. Yeah, very fortunate, actually. Oh, sorry, that's right. So we have an elementary and you'll see yeah, that tonight too we had somebody take a job somewhere else. We do have quite a few applicants. So I talked to Wayne last week before uh, the 4th and him and Brittany had talked. Uh, they were going to line some things up and I would, I'm hoping they interview this week, but I know they had some names that they were talking about this week. Yeah, sorry, that's right. We have a yeah. curious. <laughs> All right, moving on, 6.2, superintendent report. Yeah, so the only thing, so the, the budgets are the, why is that so hard for me to say? Okay, fun fund budgets. two and fund four, um, we'll discuss that later. I have a presentation that I want to share. I think it's important for you guys to hear it. Uh, you know most of it already, but then for the public too, to say, well, what is fun two? And why don't you do this with it? And what's fun four? Why don't you take money from them if they have money? Well, there's rules there, so I just want to make sure that everybody understands that district-wide, and that's why that presentation was going to take place. Uh, but item A is just a school board handbook. I think I shared that with you guys uh, my weekly update. Uh, it's just something to discuss. I think, uh, as we know, we're going to have a couple openings. Uh, and Brooke brought it to me. She goes, hey, maybe this is a good idea. And I thought for if you're going to be a new board member, it might be kind of nice to say, hey, here's the DGF handbook for being a board member, some expectations or, or kind of how we operate and just, it might be a nice thing. Um, the one that I shared out was just a sample. Um, we were thinking that we would just take it and we'll make sure it's ours and kind of update it and then we can have discussions. Hey, should this be out? Should this be in? What's it missing? What do we do that's unique to other schools? Whatever. But... It might be a nice thing, a document to share with new board members and, I don't know. I think it's a nice, re yeah, nice resource to go to and refer to, like, where do you find this and this and, you know, yeah, I, I, it's nice. Well, especially, you know, if you're new to the community too and you're very, like, gosh, I'd maybe like to run. Well, if you had a handbook to look and go, oh, that's how they do it, or that's the nights, or that's the commitment it would be, might be kind of nice. I guess one thought I had was, at least in the one that you had, Emailed us and talked about like expectations of like the behaviors of a board member. Mm. So one thought I had was, okay, if we adopt this and we have the board member sign off on it or something like saying like I received this, sure. Someone is not surprised, this, or, or if someone is behaving in a way that is not mm. what we would like them, to, how they, how we want them to behave per the handbook, are there going to be? 
applications for that. So then that would just, if we're going to have that, then what's kind of our backup in the case something yeah. goes sideways? Yeah, I guess, yeah, it's a great, great question. One of the things I would say, it's a nice guide then. So then whoever would be the board chair, hopefully it's not the board chair that's having that <laughs> issue. <laughs> but then the board chair could sit down with that person and say, hey, now remember what we have here in the handbook. And do you understand how this may be kind of compromising that or your integ the integrity of the handbook or the school board? And, you know, it creates kind of a discussion anyway, kind of about basic rules. and. Um, it might be nice for if we had to then push it farther and say, well, the person would say, well, I didn't know that's what it was expected. Well, no, you did. So that's where I'm hoping that we can kind of align with that. Um, yeah, I don't know. It was, it's just kind of one of those thoughts I had. Yeah. You know, but for sure. Good you know, it's a guide, right? Hopefully it's a guide, and that's yeah. what handbooks are. And uh, yeah, well, maybe what we'll do then uh, is, is Brooke and I will work through it, and then we'll share you. Now that we, and the other thing, I guess, and I should go back up, back up a little bit, and that is we do have committees, right? And then, then you guys can go, oh yeah, that's that committee, or even the public, if we had it posted on our, on our website under the school board handbook, if they were wanting to find out, well, which committee is Laura? I don't want, you know, she's on the safety or the uh, personnel committee or budget or whatever, they can also then know who to go to. I don't know, it's a reference, if nothing else, but yeah, we'll have to see. We'll have you guys look at it after we put our names on it and our beautiful logo and all these things. <laughs> and then you can discuss it. I mean, it's so. Yeah, that, I guess that's all I really had. Uh, I gave you guys a weekly update from last week. It was nothing magical, but I'm trying to keep you informed if you had other questions for me right now. All right, approval of the um, regular meeting on June 24th of 24. Do we have a motion? Motion by Brittany. Is there a second? Second. Second by Laura. Any questions or discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Consent agenda. Claims and account. Uh, claims and accounts, Brittany. $318,000. $854.19. Thank you. Also included in your um, packet is to approve the file for the audit. Um, approve the file for audit the treasurer's monthly budget report. Approve the resignation of Kaylee Borby, Kaylee Borby, elementary teacher effective at the end of the 23-24 school year. Approve the resignation of John Rux, food service effective at the end of the 23-24 school year. Do we have a motion? So moved. Motion by Amy, is there a second? Second. Is that Laura? Yeah. Okay, sorry. I'm losing I, the tone in everybody's voice. I'm losing it. I've lost my touch. <laughs> um, okay. Any questions or discussion? No, that's my yeah. turn. Um, <laughs> on, there was, it was something about the technology update. It was like, maybe like 50. Uh, um, 43. Is that new computers or are we yep. fixing the old ones? No, it's all new for staff. Yeah, like, it was 43 or 44,000. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah, that was a rotation. It was time to, for the staff to get updated or up. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh, that's a good question. Uh, just a thank you to Callie and, and John for their service and their time. John has decided to live in the South and said so oh, he was retired and so he said he kind of liked it there and I think I'm going to stay. So kudos to him. But yeah. Any further discussion? A motion by Amy and second by Laura. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. All right, new and unfinished business. Um, 9.1, this is a certified contract um, for Shane, I can never say it, Lincoln Waiter. Yep. Uh, ASL teacher, point two FTE VA step number one. Do we have a motion? So moved. Motion by Amy, is there a second? Second. Second by Brittany. Any questions or discussion? Awesome. And it's awesome. He's, yeah. You know, he comes over at the end of the day, and that's what he's going to teach. He's going to teach last hour. Oh, nice. So it's just Perfect. worked out. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, it did. Yeah. It just, yeah. It's just not between four kids. So. Yeah. How many um, kids in this well, class? Well, I don't even know that. I okay. know that they were working through to make sure you can get licensed and all that. Oh, so okay. if it's going to be, I guess I haven't even heard of anybody registered because they were trying to make sure they could offer. Yeah. So I'm sure it won't, yeah. 
Yeah, it'll be good no matter what. Yeah. We get five. No matter even if we get out of five games. Yes, it'll be awesome. It's great. So, it's yeah. a wonderful skill. Very All much. right. So, do any more discussion? Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I have one quick question. This would just be for high school students. Yes. Just think. yeah. Just start with that. So we're looking at. So okay. if it evolves into something more, I guess we'll see. All right, we have a motion by Amy, second by Brittany. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, 9.2, this is the 2024-25 fees. This is approved the first reading. We'll read this again, the next one. The 2024-25, let's do a motion and a second and then we'll discuss. I'll make, you know, go oh, ahead. Go I ahead. can make a motion. Amy, you want to second that? Second. Okay. All right, so in your fee or in your packet, there's a fee schedule highlighted in the salmon. You're going to see um, the increase of activity fees. Looks like we're going, uh, talking about going to $25 increase for 7th through 8th grade activities, 9th and 12th grade activities, group A and group B. Um, so reflective across, and then individual cap will go from 200 to 250 per year and family cap from 300 to 300. And on the back, it looks like we've got uh, seven through 12 activity group A, non DGF enrolled 125, seven through 12 activities group B, non DGF enrolled 100. Um, and there, we, you know, we do have families in our school district that do homeschool that wanna, um, you know, provide their kids with opportunities. They don't pay any fees currently, so this would just be a way to identify uh, identify those students uh, to participate in DGF activities. So yeah, and the other thing to say there is, uh, Katie did a lot of uh, had a lot of conversations with area schools and what they're doing. She also met with the state people, the Minnesota State High School, and what other people are doing. This is kind of falls in line with what other schools are doing. So she felt that's what would be her recommendation. So. Yeah. Um, also looks like the TOTS and school readiness that um, changed there to 120 a week and then Rebels Kids Care full-time daycare to 190 a week. And then event worker from 15 to 20. So I, I know the last time we increased fees was, gosh, I feel like it was like five, six years ago. So talking about the times and when we're in, I mean, I support this decision. Um, cost us more to, to bring people in to provide these events and if we can offset it a little bit um, you know yeah. there and if people do have a hardship if anybody watches this we do have forms for you to fill out and apply for scholarships and stuff so there is that you know we obviously want kids to be involved but it does cost us money to provide these things so any discussion Hearing no discussion, we have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. And this, like I said, is the first reading, so if there's anything that comes up and you're concerned after you think about it, let uh, David know. Okay, contract. Um, this is for the contract to approve the contract with Ideal Energies as presented. Um, let's do a motion and a second, and then we'll have discussion. So Motion by Laura, is there a second? Second. Second by Brittany. And I'm going to turn it over to Shannon. Yeah, so if you guys recall from our last board meeting, we had uh, Rich from Ideal Energies do his presentation. Um, he was under the understanding we wouldn't do it that night. I said, no, plan. we do got to have some time. So I did share the contract with you guys. It's a little lengthy, but we have a separate one for each building. Uh, also keep in mind that uh, XL Energy is still working with Ideal Energies to fine tune whether or not we can fully qualify or not uh, to receive the grant money. Uh, and that's what's funding the bulk of this. Uh, he did give you the breakdown uh, of the costs. and So it, every superintendent I talk to, they all are trying to expand it. In fact, some are with Ideal Energies uh, to expand their solar use. So anyway, I guess to me, and then we had uh, Pemberton Law go through the contract. They were going through contracts with other schools as well and they said no this is good and this will protect you and you're okay to do it so i just wanted to make sure there wasn't anything in the contract that the fine print that i would get you know wasn't aware of so again i'm talking to other superintendents they said they've been great to work with and that's how it's been for me so far too do you think that 
the solar panels with all the issues that our roofs are having? Is that going to compound any sort um, of situation or create new ones with having that extra heat? That, that's a good question. So uh, I'm going to say no, and the only reason I'll say that is where we're putting them. Those particular roofs aren't having issues. Um, and and where they're putting in Dilworth, it's all new roofing. It has the new rock, and that was just put in place. Um, the other things they have insurance on this, so if we do have any issues that are caused by that, it's proved to be that. The issue, and then the, over here, it seems ironic because it's going to be on our high school gym, which we've had nothing but trouble. But we know that we have now determined that it's not the roof that's ever leaked, it's been the HVAC unit that has been running through that. And so we don't have a roof issue here. We have an HVAC issue, which we have identified and they, everybody knows it and we're working through solving that problem right now. So, um, so I'll say that no, it shouldn't affect it. And uh, with other schools, too, they, they haven't had any issues. Um, but, you know, we've been pretty unfortunate when it comes to projects. But yeah, I think we're good. Great question. I thought no, it was saying the same, same thing yeah. when they was he was presenting. Um, yeah. But I think that uh, this is a great opportunity, and if we can make it work, it's uh, you know, yeah, as, provide as you, something sustainable. Yeah, and as you guys know, and the public knows, we have these uh, solar fields up on, the, on Highway Nine, mm -hmm. and that's part of where Excel Energy and Ideal Energies is working through exactly. Because you have to have so the ratings and all this and that, mm -hmm. and, and because we already are part of that program, that may affect this a little bit, and that's what he's still working out. So by signing the contract, just saying we're agreeing to move forward as long as all those things come into place. Sure. All right, thank you. Uh, so we have a motion and a second. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. Nine point four. This is the first and only reading of the following policies. 102, Equal Educational Opportunity, 104, School District Mission Statement, 204, School Board, School Board Meeting Minutes, 207, Public Hearings, 416, Drug, Alcohol, and Cannabis Testing, 418, Drug-Free Workplace, Drug-Free School, 419, Tobacco-Free Environment, 425, Staff Development and Mentoring, 707, Transportation of Public School Students, 708, Transportation of Non-Public School Students, 709 Student Transportation Safety Policy and 802 um, Disposition of uh, Obsolete Equipment and Material. Do we have a motion? So moved. I can second. Any discussion or questions? Well, MSBA came up with this giant list uh, <laughs> and um, one time readings, these were all, and, and I did send to the policy committee. Yes, I have written respond to that today too, or to that. Um, there was nothing crazy here at all. It's MSBA's recommendations that are all pretty basic, so. Adding one word or changing one word or adding a citation. Yeah, very basic, yeah. So we just figured, well, let's just knock them all out at one time with these, move on, we have other policies we'll get into as a group. So. Sounds good. So we have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. 9.5, this is a non-certified contract to approve moving Alex Mather, custodian from a class two custodian to a class three lead custodian. Do we have a motion? Motion by Brittany, is there a second? Second. Second by Laura, any questions or discussion? Heard nothing but good things about Alex, so oh, yeah. Alex. <laughs> glad to have him. Amen, I agree, Chase is super happy, so. Okay, with this whole crew, but Alex he just he just felt it was yeah good good time for him. Good, good. All right, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Oh, Next board meeting is Monday, July twenty second, six p.m. in the DGF community room, um, followed by policy committee um, at the end of that meeting. Uh, move on to eleven. Uh, just need a motion to approve adjournment. So move. Oh, I got Amy. Okay. And review a second. And the time is 6.22. Almost, Brooke. Almost made it. <laughs> All right. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. All right. Then I'll be gone next meeting. Everybody. Uh,